Okay. Anyway, this camera is very shit. Okay. Shit again. Okay. Hi guys. Sorry for the camera. We just uh, uh, put it off. It will be better. <laughs> Uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, again, holiday, so this will be a short, um, a short session. Uh, it might be interesting because today, um, not not interesting move, but we can like analyze what can happen uh, during the next year. So uh, thank you for being with me. My name is Ruben. For people that already don't know me, um, I'm used to uh, make trading room one time per week uh, in general. So um, so that's good to do it again uh, with you. Hi, uh, Conrad um okay let's let's start by maybe talking about what happened before christmas uh last week and and what we can expect for uh, future uh uh good moves uh that we can have on, in the forex market for people that knows and i already told it uh last week i, I won't take any trades during last week generally um it's holidays so uh the volatility is uh is very low uh, there is also high spreads, um, so I encourage you to to not open any trades and you know uh, taking some fresh hair. Uh, it's always good uh, to do that. Um, and hope also hope guys that you had a, a wonderful Christmas that you enjoyed with your family. Uh, it's it's uh, it's one time period, so uh, you should enjoy uh, those moments and don't think about the market at all. Um, and also for psychology and for the mindset. This is uh, this is very good um, for the brain and and you know to to take some uh, some a new a new start. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, so looking at the pound dollar. Uh, Yeah, before we're talking about the dollar, we will we will try maybe to check about what what going on on the dollar index, because there is very low volatility. It might be good to see uh, what's happening in the dollar index and understand what's actually uh, the let's say the momentum that we have. So let me put that on uh, on the chart on the screen. X Y. Okay. Okay, here we are. This is the um, the chart of the dollar index. You see, you see that. Let's say from beginning of December there was not big big moves. Uh, the price is uh, locked uh, between ninety six eighty and ninety five eighty. So it's one point approximately. Uh, let me remove this. Okay. And yeah, you, you see on the daily as well that there is like low volatility. Uh, also, uh, yes, today. Yeah, also Friday, you see low volatility movement also today. So the market is open, but again, I don't encourage you to trade any things. Uh, as you see, for example, in, in our platform, the MT5, the spreads on the euro dollar is a bit higher than usual. Um, so that's what happens generally in holidays. So talking about the, the dollar index, we see that it, it makes a, a huge move from June, from, from the beginning of 2021, um, mainly because of the, of the sanitary situation. Um, that's probably why uh, this makes the movement. Again, there, there is maybe a small, um, small uh, target to make on, on the upside here. Yeah, this might be you see like the 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 the, the red uh, the red box might be a zone for sellers in in the dollar to uh, to take some of the profit they have even they already make uh, and take took some profit here before the new year and and, and before the beginning of 2022. If the price make a, a higher high and reach uh, that zone, this can be um, a zone that we could be interested uh, by checking what's happening to the price and and again starting to take some uh, some opportunities in the in the forex market 
okay, might be the euro dollar, maybe the, the, the also the pound dollar, for example. Uh, but here, okay, this range, and also you see that if I go back here, this generally the, the, the average price uh, that the price went between 2019 and 2020. Okay, so even, even people that don't look at that price for a technical zone, it can be also good for quantitative zone. Okay, as you see, the, the 97, uh, 50 uh, points is uh, um, a psychological uh, zone that the markets were uh, trading many times during the, the 29 years, uh, 2019 years uh, before. So, um, but again, uh, talking about the, the price action, okay, this, uh, let me show you. Okay, this box here, meaning that it, it probably the, the middle of the supply zone that we will just here. Okay, and you see that the price already make two rejection. The price can make again an higher high, uh, but we should check if, if I see that the price again make another rejection to that to that that zone. Uh, this will probably be the, the, the beginning of, of a new um, of a new big movement on, on the lower side. Uh, again, uh, nothing to make during the vacation, during the holidays, I will not take trade. And I'm trying to look at the chart, but um, uh, I prefer to put it my, my, my head um, aside from it. And talking about trading room, they will not be trading room uh, during that week. We just do, did, uh, we just do uh, today a trading room, uh, getting the, let's say the forecast that we can have on 2022. Um, but um, Tomorrow and Wednesday, even Thursday, there will be no trading room. Um, and we will be starting again next Monday. So it will be in the Monday, yeah, the 3rd of January. And it will be the, the beginning of the new year um, and the, the 2022. And it will be might be interesting. Okay, so that's that for the dollar index. No, nothing interesting yet. Uh, in the H4, there is, um, you see the price is locked um, during that zone. Okay, small uptrend, but yet this is for me a consolidation zone. Okay, um, there is also a demand on that zone. Uh, again, there is there is no such big moves on on the dollars uh, index. But be careful. the the main the main the main um, the main zone that you should look at. Is this uh, red um, area, and and also if we break below, uh, there, there is also a high chance that we make again a retest to that to that resistance line, and then we make a rejection. And if we make a rejection, it will be like a triple top on the daily chart, and there is high chance to go uh, lower again. And generally, at the beginning of the year, there is high ice ice pack in volatility, so be careful about that. Um, and there would be some reflection on the on the on the euro dollar or on the pound dollar, for example. If I go back to the MT5 and I and I see you the chart of the euro dollar, uh, there is uh, there is from a huge opportunity that that will happen in January 2022, maybe a bit later, but um, it it will be worth it for me to check um, every day what's happening on 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 the swing chart, on the daily chart and weekly. Okay, if I see. Uh, I think I already told it many many times, but but here, okay, this this area is the beginning of the of the new demand that create uh, on March 2020, and the price is exactly here uh, battling and struggling to break even below that. Okay, so so here maybe for me a key zone. Uh, it's already been uh, you see um, one month that the price is locked between 1.13 and, and 1.12, but. Again, I will not be surprised if the price make a big spike move uh, up. Um, here, generally, it's, we are changing hands. Okay, people that went short want to take their profits. Here might be a good uh, good area to make um, a buy. Also, for people that want to to be uh, on the buy position for the long uh, the long term uh, on the year, on the yearly basis. Still, the price can go to that big demand here. Um, mm -hmm. But again, I, I will prefer uh, to, you know, to make on, on, on the M30 or on the H4 position myself. Uh, if we break this area 
uh, there is i gem that we that we move long time higher okay um And generally, that's what happens. Okay, generally there is uh, there is a downtrend. Okay, and then there is a consolidation time, and then again the downtrend is continuing. It, it's the market structure, and actually the market structure is happening just before the new year, so it can be nice. Okay, so you see after this consolidation zone here, okay, the price went below, make a big dip. Um, to our 1.12, uh, 300, and then again, create another big blocks like that. Okay, so if I see the chart like that, I can tell you that there is higher chance again to reach the, the lower side, but if I position myself to the weekly and again in, in the monthly, uh, for me there is, uh, I, would, I would show you again the chart. Uh, charts. Okay. For me, if I go to the monthly, there is here um, a new trend for 2015. Again, that's uh, that's something that we have to go to move uh, way way before. But uh, again, I see that the price on the euro dollar. I don't I don't feel and don't think that the dollar can go to again uh, with the 1.05 level here, for example. Okay. Um, but still, that's my perception, that's my analysis, that's my uh, view of the market. Okay, so I believe that during the, during the year of 2022, the, the price will range um, from that zone, that may be a spike from the beginning, until 1.22 uh, here. That is a very important zone. That the, that the price actually does here reject. Okay, so this is for the euro dollar. The pound dollar is approximately the same. We make a huge uh, spike up uh, because they uh, they increase the interest rate. Uh, that's what we see uh, exactly here. You see that the price spikes and then goes back, make again another test to the demand and, and then moves up. Um, and again, that's exactly the same move that we can have on the euro dollar. Okay, you see exactly that we make a big dip. Okay, then the market at According to the market structure, make a consolidation zone. Okay, if I go to the H4. Okay, even we make here a fake breakout uh, to re-enter the zone. There is a big uh, downward trend, consolidation, and again the price moved up. And I and I still believe that the market can go up uh, during the, um, the during January 2022, even February 1992, um, 2022. Sorry, to reach. Uh, let's say this kind of level here. Okay, I will not be surprised if uh, we reach or this supply with that, uh, yeah, this supply here. Yeah, again, uh, here on the weekly for the pound, for example, uh, if they don't raise the interest rate, there is a high chance um, that the price is still going down. You see, you see on the weekly that that the price is on a downtrend and on, on a very hard downtrend, for example, here. Um, so here, here might be a nice entry for uh, for people that want to sell uh, the pound. Um, but again, it it will be uh, we have to check what's happening in the in the coronavirus and if uh, Great Britain. Uh, want to increase the interest rate again if they increase one more time the interest rate high chance that we reach the the point i have just um cycle here okay it would be maybe to or to the downtrend. trend it can be also to the rectangle okay we can do something like that up to there and, and then goes back again okay and also this is uh, this is also a healthy reaction here Okay, the market went down for maybe 500 pips, approximately 600 pips. Consolidate, then make you make a move forward. Yeah, that, that, that's interesting. Uh, again, you see that the market today is trading uh, a little bit up. Uh, I don't know how much pips, but 
there is no interest in the there is like 30 pips up today. But very low volatility, there is high spread as you see as well. Um, again, not, not a good time to trade during the holidays. I know that people like to do that and to position themselves before because the Forex market is like more, more liquid than all the markets. But again, um, it's good to take some fresh air, like I said at the beginning. Um, let's check what's going on on hold. I think it's also... A it's also, I think the, the CAD will be a nice pair to, to see uh, and check um, the following year. And also the past year was very interesting to check what happened in the dollar CAD and, and all the Canadian uh, dollar currencies. According to oil, uh, oil is, is starting to, um, to make uh, a nice move. Um, and they recorrelated together. Let's see what happened in oil. Yeah, um, again, how it is flat today. From what I see, uh, it's not much move. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. It's it's completely correlated, completely correlated. I will I will show you like the, the chart in oil in one hour and also uh, the chart in one hour of the, of the dollar Canadian, you will see how it's uh, completely correlated. Again, it's a negatively correlation. Um, but when there is like low volatility, okay, the call you can see the correlation even 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 better, okay. And look, okay, here you see on the H one a big spike, okay, down. Okay, even there is like no uh, no price reaction or no price action time. There is like not a zone here. It's I believe it was a, a resistance. Okay, that, that that break, but fake out, and then we re-enter. Okay, and let's check what happened in hole. Okay, you see on hole at the beginning. Um, I would like put it even on the thirty minutes. You see that the market went down slowly. Okay, then find a zone here. It might be that it might be that zone. Okay, create a demand and push up. Okay, exactly, and that's exactly what happened on on the um, on the dollar CAD. You see, the market went up slowly, slowly, and then big spike down. Okay, and oil it was a big spike up. Okay, uh, negative correlation. We, we will see it more and more in in 2022. Um, I turned that we also see high volatility in oil. That will not surprise. We surpri uh, will be surprising. There is high price in energy in gas. Uh, in Europe, uh, it can affect a lot the energy market, um, and of course, if if it uh, affect the uh, energy market, it will affect also the currency. Okay, when you want to buy or sell an energy like the gas, like electricity, um, or so on, it will also affect the the currency because you have to buy something with currency. And generally, you buy with the dollar, so it, it will also affect the dollar. Um, energy might be a big, big important. Uh, main factor in, in the next year. Um, yeah, that, that was interesting. That was very interesting. Happy holidays, Helmer. Yeah, happy holidays to you, happy holidays to everyone. Again, I, I repeat, um, this is a short, uh, short session. Um, uh, generally, we don't like, as a trader, we don't like too much to trade during holidays. There is high, high uh, spreads, low volatility. You can be trapped uh, very quickly, and, and and you know also it's good for the for the brain and for the, the mental to not trade those uh, those times. Um, but there will be a lot a lot of opportunities in twenty twenty two. But yeah, we we we'll make like a short session to, uh, you know, uh, there was Christmas, there were with the weekend, and, and you know we try to uh, to get back a little bit again, and, and still we have to to stick with the market and understand what's going on every day. Even though there is the volatility, there 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 can be some moves. 
if today there is a big war that happens in the Middle East, for example, so the price, no, no matter if there is volatility or not, the price will go up. Okay, everyone will go back to their trading desk, and they will trade. So um, generally, those times, you know, um, it, it's not happening, but but it can. Are you friend doing this live trading? Other requests so they can be viewed later. Hi, Peter. Yeah, uh, there is a replay of trade of, of the live trading room we made on Monday, Tuesday, on Wednesday, and we upload it on YouTube. We don't upload all, all, all of the trading room, but when there is like a high, um, a very good subject or, um, or very interesting things uh, that we can upload and, and share with uh, people that uh, were not here during the live. Um, so we do that generally. So you can go on, on our YouTube channel and you will check that there is a live trading room. We try to upload, upload one, let's say, um, once a week, twice a week sometimes. Uh, and you can find some good trading room there. Uh, I, I just want to repeat: there will not be trading room uh, during the end of the uh, during the, um, uh, the the following week, uh, according to holidays and according to low volatility. Uh, and we will come back next Monday on the third of on, of January uh, again to start strongly on a new uh, the, the new year. Um, and, and and for people that generally cannot be here because of works, for example, Peter cannot go, cannot be with us because. Uh, of other, other stuff, like uh, it can be work, it can be uh, other uh, habits. Um, Jan generally on Monday, we make a weekly forecast. Okay, so we go over uh, uh, the major pairs and we start to talk about the dollar index and heat maps and what can be the, um, the big news that can happen uh, this week. And that we will do also uh, in the next few minutes. We will check if there is important news that can uh, be released uh, during the following week. Um, on Monday, we make, sorry, on Tuesday, we make a live trading room. So we take a real account and we trade. Uh, it can be scalping, it, it can be also day trades. Uh, so we try to analyze the market and make some trade together and try to, to grow the account together. Uh, so also, there is also a talk for getting risks, risk management and psychology during that session because you see, like a trader, uh, how we can take those trades and how we can manage them. Uh, and you know, uh, generally, it can be finished in a loss, but more, most of the time, statistically, a good trader know to consistently make uh, profit in the long term. And Wednesday, it will be uh, risk management and psychology. So that's generally the um, the planning that we we schedule for uh, for 2022. And then, and I think we will hold uh, this format because a lot of people uh, like and 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 we get some very good feedbacks regarding those. Um, uh, those uh, format. So yeah, happy new year with Milan and Fips. Yeah, I wish you the same, Conrad. I hope it will be a, a free four year for you. If I go back uh, to, uh, to, 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 I, I will go to Forex Factor. We check if there is no news this uh, this week, but generally there is no there is no uh, no news uh, during holidays. Okay, and I will show you also in the in the, in the screen. Um, an employment rate in, in Japan. You see the previous war 2.7, forecast 2.7. So there is like no much, uh, no much big things here. Bank holiday, Japan bank holiday, bank holiday. Okay, so there is no, um, no big news. Um, and that's also like that all, all the time. Okay, there is no big news during, um, during that week. So enjoy your vacation, enjoy your holidays, be aware of the market, start to check, let's say five minutes per day to check if there is high move or, or something interesting. But again, I encourage you to not take any trades. And yeah, and then we come back on, on Monday, January, uh, to, to January 3, there will still bank holiday in CAD and USD. Um, and then we come back to Tuesday. And here there will be like a very interesting uh, meeting. There is the OPEC, that is the, the, the petroleum uh, organization of the petrol that, that mainly can move the oil and the CAD. Also, there is a manufacturing PMI uh, in, 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 in US. So uh, Tuesday can be the, a very nice, interesting uh, day for people that want to trade again. Still again, Monday, I, I don't encourage you to trade. There is not, you see like there is not much uh, news. Also, you see that in, in 
Italian bank holiday, bank holiday, bank holiday. Generally, like this Monday also, next Monday, they will be, be, be like not big moves and, and not big volatility in the market, but Tuesday, uh, that might be the beginning of, of the year. Uh, everyone will come back to, this, to their desk. So that will be um, very interesting. Um, let me move to, um, yeah, again, you see there is, um, it's very quiet as usual. If, if, if you want to, to, um, to ask me some questions, okay, that you may have, it can be also a question, um, a, a chance, you know, to, to ask and, and discuss together as well. Okay, so uh, be free. You can ask me on the chat. I will be happy to answer anything you have. Any question you may have, risk management, talking about trading, talking about what I can expect next year, or, uh, you know, um, some advice that I can give, I can give to uh, traders that trade with us uh, for a long time. I mean, while I see that oil is pushing up a bit more, so we can see that the dollar card is uh, still going downward. Okay, and that's what we see. I don't know if you guys trade during holidays. Uh, I don't like to, uh, and I don't used to. Uh, but it will be interesting to know if someone trades during holidays and if someone finds any opportunities that he can have. Again, I, I believe that it can be uh, very dangerous. <laughs> if you have like swing position or also positional position that you can hold for a for few months and few years, generally you will not close them. Um, but again, you can close them and, and open them again um, after the new year. But that's, that's your choice, generally. I actually how you use RSI for the trades. Okay, that's a nice question that I can, I can maybe answer. Um, okay, so let me, let, let me answer you. Um, Generally, I use stochastics. You can use stochastics for the daily, for the H4, but generally I use this kind of stochastics here for the M15 chart. Okay, and, and I can demonstrate that in M15, um, when the market is low volatile and when there is consolidation, stoch stochastics will generally work. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is to understand the market structure. Okay, if you know to analyze and to... Um, and to catch the market um, and to expect that the market will, will consolidate in, in some zone, the stochastics can work. So, okay, so maybe let's, let's try to find, um, let's say here, okay, we will maybe try to, to take this kind of consolidation zone. Okay, this is a consolidation zone for me. Uh, and we will try to use um, stochastics for this kind of, um, of zone, okay? So generally, you have to use to. Generally, I I will not. Um, okay, I have this high level. Okay, I know as well that the market is low volatile today. There is very low chance that we break any support or any resistance. So I expect that the market will continue doing that range. Okay, if I took this high level and I see, for example, my stochastic here at above 20, 80, so we and it close to the 92 levels. Okay, so because it's close to the 92 levels, I will probably open a sell position here and make a stop loss above. Okay, so that will be my entry point. Okay, I have to choose my, my resistance support level um, and, and, and go with that. But again, um, I also use Bollinger Bands to, to use this kind of, of stochastics. Um, I know that people try to use stochastics for uh, divergence. 
okay like um like something like that this can be like for um, divergent for example let me show you Okay, people use also this kind for divergence. I, I generally I don't like to use divergence on stochastics. Um, it's still my opinion and still my view, but but again, yeah, well, I want to try maybe other um, other example. Yeah, okay, you here for example as well. Okay, so you see here that this, this zone was a key zone, okay, on the M15. Uh, it was a, a resistance for multiple times with the 22, we break and then, you know, we, we stopped approximately to that zone and then we reach again that zone and my stochastics was here below 20. Okay, so was here, here below 20. So approximately here, we, we was at the seven, eight below 20. So here might be like a, a, an indicator for me to go to go by, okay. And here might be, for example, again my decision to go short, okay. Like you use uh, this zone. This is a consolidation zone. You see, it's very flat. So I will use stochastics and Bollinger to to, uh, to to do to do things together, okay. Here as well can be like my interesting point to make yourself, okay. You see that stochastics is about eighty. The, the what is difficult using an indicator is that you have to know how to 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 use them and you know i can use different and from a different style that you might use them okay maybe stochastics you only want to, to find divergence but i'm looking for entry point for sometimes and Stochastics is not so good for um, uptrend or downtrend. That's why you have to uh, analyze and understand how to catch consolidation zone. And sometimes you can get trapped because, of course, at the end of the consolidation zone, there is the hand on the consolidation zone and the beginning of a rally. So you have to be very careful. Okay, sometimes you can have, um, you know, it, it can create the consolidation zone like that. Okay, so it make a double top. It make a a resistance okay and then you say okay here it's a consolidation zone okay so i will see if stochastics here uh, react and then it's the end of the consolidation and then we start a, a rally on the downtrend okay um so it's happened i know that generally my strategy can work more on, on london session because we the tendency in london session is that we uh, we try to respect the support and, and the resistance zone um, in opposite to uh, to the American uh, session that there is high volatility and we want to break uh, a lot a lot of keys on. Okay, so I will not use the same strategy on London and the same strategy on on the New York session. That's why you, as RSI, also, I also use body gibbons um, to make the trades and also I use pay section. So it's the, the combination of the three. Okay, I cannot tell you that when stochastics is crossing here, I make a buy because there is a lot, a lot of difference, a lot of alternative uh, moment that I will decide that even there is a cross here, I will not make a buy and even the opposite. So you see, for, for me here, for example, I, I, I won't make a trade because if it's only there, there is high, I don't know, it's a very low volatile and and there is like a, a point, point to spreads. 
But if I see this kind of pattern during the London session, I will make happy, I will be happy to make a sell exactly here. Okay, and my stop loss will be very close. It will be a stop loss above the highest point. Okay, so it will be approximately sorry. Um, it will be a stop loss here. Okay, so it's above the high. Uh, so in that case, it will be a, a 15 pip stop loss. And I want probably to make my first TP on the 15, uh, maybe not, but on the median of the Bollinger Bands to go back again to the average price. So it's at 23 pips. Uh, and I will, let's say, close 50% 50 of, of my trades here and then uh, it's, start to make a trailing stop loss, uh, sorry, trailing take profit to that zone, maybe 36 pips. So generally, these kinds of strategy used for uh, one to two risk reward can be one to three. Uh, but after that is all you manage to trades. But uh, I, that's how I, I will react to those kinds. You know, a consolidation zone, stochastics above 80, starting to cross here. Uh, so that's why I will, I will use, I will use this. You use BB22, yeah, exactly. That's the, uh, the, the default one uh, with 20 standard deviation. Uh, indicator list, I just want to be sure, but uh, yeah, 20 and two. And again, I know that people don't like to use Bollinger Bands. Uh, generally, it gives you a lot, a lot of fake uh, indicators, fake biases, fake country. I used it to know the volatility, okay? I was a, a, a trader in options markets and when you trade options, you don't care about the, the direction of the price, but you, you care about the volatility mm -hmm. itself of the asset. Uh, so that's why I lose body gibbons. Uh, I know that here there was, um, let's say, I, I, I just give you an example that maybe here we are far from the moving average, like for 14, um, 14 pips. Okay, and there is... The more you get far from the moving average and you see that the Bollinger Bund is starting to escape, okay, there is a high chance to go back again. It's, it's, a late, um, it's a late indicator, but it's still worth it for me. I think you have to go. It depends. Actually, it very depends. But for my strategy, the, the best the best one was for the M fifteen. I also back tested, so uh, I know that in the M fifteen it works well for me. What is the max Jordan for your strategy? Um, it depends. Like, I know that in the fibers, the max Jordan should be 4%. No, no, no matter what is um, no, no matter what is the, the, the maximum Jordan, bye, Peter. Uh, happy holidays to you. Bye-bye. If you have um, a max Jordan of 10% in your strategy, you can compare it to 5% if you divide by two all your uh, viable. Okay, so you can always, uh, you know, uh, um, minimize your maximum uh, maximum drawdown okay four percent is very low drawdown let's say for the fibers but it, if you use um, and not not so low because if you make some profit you can go to up to 10 15 percent uh, max drawdown if you make some profit in your account but you have to know um to to diversify your viable to make your drawdown most more flexible uh, when you want Okay, but but by by using by using this strategy in, in the Fires account, my maximum Jordan I can tell you that it can be four percent, for example. Okay, my maximum Jordan can be four percent, and I will stay in the the walls of the Fires, for example. Um. You're welcome. Again, guys, um, I wish you happy, happy holidays and happy new year. Uh, just want to, um, a small reminder that they will, know, uh, they will not be trading room today and Wednesday. We will come back on, 
on next Monday. Uh, so enjoy your holidays, take some uh, breaths um, with your family, um, enjoy the new year, make some party if you want, if you want to, um, and you know, uh, take care of you during this uh, very difficult time. Um, staying up is not so uh, so bad, so you can work on your strategy. Uh, meanwhile, waiting for uh, for the end of the holidays. Again, enjoy this stuff of moment. It's very important for a life of a trader. Um, thank you. Thank you for the few people that were with me today. I very appreciate it. Um, happy holidays. And we will uh, see you again on the, on the next week. Okay. See you guys. Um, enjoy your holidays. Bye-bye.